Yes, thank you. Um, obviously, every coach that gets up here, we say the same things in our opening statement. So um, everybody has a good summer. So we, we had a good summer, too. Um, you know, everybody's excited about it. So, you know, we're excited about the season. Um, after listening to Chris Holtman talk, it, it is different for me this year than last year. We, we started four seniors last year. We went on a trip to Taiwan. Um, we got a lot of basketball and we played, you know, 10, 11 real games in the summer. So it was different. Now we have a very, um, more inexperienced team. So Carson Edwards, obviously, as a second team all American last year comes back and um, anytime you can start a game and you feel like you got the best player on the floor it's a good start um, we have some guys that came off the bench for us last year and and um, Ryan Klein who I've, I've always considered like a starter for us but we've been pretty deep in our backcourt uh, Matt Harms and No Joe Eastern they're gonna have to have bigger roles for this team and then we have a lot of new guys um, to sprinkle in there um, a fifth year transfer two redshirt freshmen and uh, three true freshmen that I feel really good about. I think they're all going to be good players. When they're going to be good players is obviously the question anytime you have an experience um, and how they gel with those guys that I previously mentioned um, that played for us last year. So I'm um, really looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to getting started. Thanks, Coach. We'll open the floor for questions. Martin Soares from Basketball Society. Coach, can you just talk about the difference in how you might be coaching Carson Edwards, being that the responsibility is a little different, less seniors around him, right. same kind of talent. But can you talk about the difference in how you approach coaching him with, with this new team? Right. You know, he's a um, very dynamic player. I, you know, he's unique um, from a physical standpoint. He's, he's kind of got the, the body and the explosiveness and the speed like a, like a Saquon Barkley. Um, you know, he plays through his offense. And so I think for guys like that, as you get older, you get more experience, you get more responsibility, but you don't change who you are. And uh, a lot of what he did last year, when he got it going, you know, we couldn't get it to him enough. But when somebody else got it going, you know, that's kind of the, the piece that, that's tough when you have that scoring mentality. You know, when Isaac Haas is, you know, burying people by the concession stand, you know, you got to get him the basketball. And Dakota Mathias was a really efficient player. Vince Edwards was a really efficient player. And so, um, you know, sometimes you go without some touches for two, three minutes. I don't think that will be the case um, this year. I think he'll play off the ball, but I also think he'll play with the ball more. He's kind of been our point guard in transition, and now he'll have more responsibilities there. Um, but I never want to take away from his ability to score because I think that's a threat that we can have um, 40 minutes every single night.